911, what's your emergency? Viewer discretion is advised. Wham, bam, Tesla cam, I hope you're satisfied. This video was sent in by someone who was cruising down I-35 on autopilot when an 18-wheeler started overtaking and switching lanes. At first, he believed it was just innocent drifting, but then he braked and took over from autopilot. This video was sent in by Cool Essence. He was driving his Tesla Model 3 in a paid carpool lane when he saw that a Volkswagen started creeping up close in the rearview mirror. After that, he got in front and threw something again. About 10 minutes later, the same VW reappears in the mirror and overtakes on the shoulder only to stop at traffic ahead. Cool Essence called the police and showed them the video on site. The police asked him to send them the videos. He hasn't heard back yet. It's a dark, cold world out there. There's a time to live and a time for here, a stereotypically reckless pickup driver works really hard in Miami traffic to roll coal on Jeff Mahin's Tesla Model 3. John Furlong was driving his Model 3 when he approached this four-way intersection. Fortunately, the truck missed the driver's door, so the driver of the pickup was shaken but not seriously injured. John says the accident could have been a lot worse if the dump truck driver hadn't reacted so quickly. It's also lucky that the truck was empty at the time. The first time Ryan Smith's Tesla was vandalized, the Sentry Mode feature hadn't been released yet for his Model 3. This time, the cameras were rolling. Ryan later ran into the gentleman at his apartment complex's clubhouse. The man claimed that Ryan's Tesla took too long to charge and the no pee that he left on the driver's door was meant to tell Ryan no parking. He was himself driving a plug-in Prius and didn't realize that Teslas take far longer to charge than his plug-in hybrid. Ryan said, we had multiple talks after, a lot of talks about Teslas. He wants one as his next car. We became pretty cordial, in fact. I'd like to chalk up the way I handled the situation as me growing up and not reacting like I would have in my younger days. The man offered to have Ryan's Tesla detailed. Since Ryan was able to remove all markings, he chose not to press any charges and didn't go any further. In his opinion, the discussion they had was enough to resolve the situation. Mitch Bauer was approaching a red light in his Tesla when he witnessed this accident. A white Toyota Highlander clipped the front of a car that was attempting to run the red light and flipped over. This is a great example of why you should never run a red light.
This next clip comes from Brian Tran, who had been posting videos on Instagram for a while, warning about the danger for motorcycles lane splitting when cars didn't pay attention to them. Brian says this is the worst accident he has seen so far. Brian says that the truck driver was completely to blame. He didn't turn on his signal before changing lanes, and if you notice, he actually turns on his right blinker after hitting the motorcyclist. Fortunately, the motorcyclist was able to sit up under his own power, and the truck driver immediately got out of his truck and checked on him. Within minutes, Brian saw a CHP officer speeding down the opposite side of the freeway, where Brian assumes he was racing to the scene of the accident. JJ Cola was driving his Model 3 with autopilot engaged when out of nowhere this happened. He says this is the first time he's ever been attacked by a grill while driving. Maybe this is the newest version of rolling coal on Teslas? He tried to keep his distance and not touch anything due to the pandemic, but he really wanted to help so he got right to it. Here, JJ Cola signals to his sister to use Summon to bring the car closer. This clip comes from Josh Dooley. It happened on June 21st, 2019 in Oakland, California. At first, we see this gentleman walk past Josh's Tesla Model 3. Then he smashes a window of a parked car. then a second car's window as well. He then walks up to Josh's car again. Here he's checking the car and looking in the window. Then he checks the surrounding area before coming back. Finally, he smashes the back side window, but then runs away thanks to the car's alarm system. Josh says that there was nothing of value in the car and that the thief didn't take anything. He reached out to the police, but never got a response. This video was sent in from Pele, who was driving on a country road in Sweden when he suddenly witnessed this. Pele says he thinks the driver made the decision to turn a little bit too late. This clip is from Roberto Capodici in Italy, who parked his Tesla Model 3 to go visit a friend at work. Roberto had parked his car on the side of the street in a designated parking spot, with cars parked both in front of and behind his car. When Roberto came back 15 minutes later, he found that his car had been damaged and that a few people had stopped the driver who had hit his Tesla. Here you can see people running out of the office building. And here we see the truck driver checking on the damage. The truck was from Belarus and the trailer was licensed in Belgium, complicating the insurance claim. Roberto says it took almost a year to receive an insurance settlement. The accident happened in June of 2019, and as of July of 2020, almost all expenses have been covered, except for Roberto's own time spent working on the claim. This video was sent in by Rob X, who was driving on a main street when he witnessed this police chase on foot during the pandemic.
don't forget to wear a mask. Rob X says he was mentally repeating the words, don't come near my car, when he saw this. This video sent in by Mr. Levizel shows a guy giving the Tesla family thumbs up and showing sentry mode that he parked far away so as not to ding this parked Tesla. This video was taken by a parked Model 3 in the California beach town of Coronado and sent in by an anonymous submitter. This clip perfectly explains why you shouldn't text and bike. Unfortunately, it looks like she mostly avoided damaging the car, and she didn't appear to be hurt very seriously. In the next clip, we see her dusting off her knees. This video was sent in by I Don't Give a Frunk. Great username, by the way. And just wait for it. This Model 3 actually belongs to famous YouTuber Danny Duncan, who put this bullhorn on the frunk of his Tesla. The frunk is the front luggage compartment of the Tesla, a portmanteau of the words front trunk. This clip from Speccio Cycling shows him driving with autopilot engaged when this happened. Autopilot blared warnings and engaged the brakes. We can see that the blue pickup truck up ahead slows down to turn left, and that the following cars weren't ready for that. This really shows the danger of tailgating. Chris was driving his Model X northbound on I-95 near Boca Raton, Florida, when he witnessed this bizarre accident. It almost looked like the driver was about to fall out of the window. Fortunately, the driver never hit anything else and was able to move safely to the side of the road. The wheel went flying after the pickup truck hit it, and we can see it bounce off the hood of the car in the inside lane. Rick was sitting in traffic in his Model S in Charlotte, North Carolina one morning when he noticed a car speeding in the turn lane. At the same time, the cars in front of him stopped to let a school bus out of a neighborhood street. As the bus turned out, the speeding car clipped the bus. Luckily, no one on the bus was hurt, and the driver of the car wasn't seriously injured. This video is from Andrew Miller, who was driving his Model 3 in the New Mexico desert when this happened. The front left tire of the truck blew out and sent the truck off the road. If we slow it down, we can actually see the tire blow out. No one was hurt and Andrew proceeded on his way when he saw that the driver had safely stopped. 
Bruce was driving his Model Y on autopilot in Nashville, Tennessee, when he found himself in the middle of a major accident on the highway. Conveniently, Bruce had his GoPro running behind his shoulder, which gives us a spectacular angle of the crash. But first, let's look at it from the beginning, narrated by Bruce's own words. <clears throat> from my work, after work, it, an incident happened on the interstate where there was a major car crash. We're talking probably more than 15 vehicles were involved in this totally, and I was kind of right in the middle of all of it. The rain started pouring, and there was an accident up ahead, forcing the cars to come to a sudden stop. Autopilot engaged initial braking. The cars in the fast lane were driving too fast to be able to stop in time. This was the result. Bruce quickly took over from autopilot, and at the same time, another crash started piling up behind him. Accelerating, he avoided being hit from behind. He was very lucky to only be a witness in this mass accident and not actually involved. He pulled over to the side of the road, and from what he initially learned, there were no serious injuries, even though some people were transported out by ambulance. Bruce and many other drivers had dash cam footage of the accident that they offered to the first responders at the scene. Now let's have a look from the camera that was mounted inside his Tesla. We can see autopilot braking and Bruce taking the wheel and quickly pressing the save button for the dash cam footage. He had his cameras running because he was recording for his YouTube channel, All Things Tesla. Shout out to Bruce for sending us this incredible video. Go check out his YouTube channel. David's wife was driving their Model 3 westbound on I-10 when they saw a car suddenly break and swerve into a semi-truck's lane for no apparent reason. They stopped and David ran to the semi first, which was wedged into the trees on all sides. The engine had been thrown a good distance into the woods. He couldn't get to the cab because of how it was jammed into the trees. Thankfully, some professional landscapers pulled over to help and they used their chainsaw to cut a path to the cab. The driver was conscious and able to talk, but was pinned into the cab and David had no way to get her out. There was also a passenger in the back that he couldn't see. They were able to get them to tap on the inside of the cab to confirm they were alive and conscious. The driver of the car was bloodied, dazed, and shaken up, but alive and able to talk. There were no other passengers in the car. David says it felt like it took forever before first responders arrived, but in reality, he thinks it was only about 10 minutes. He saw firemen carrying the jaws of life to the remains of the truck cab. After providing the dash cam video to the police, they decided to get out of there and let the professionals do their jobs. Matthew was driving in San Antonio, Texas when this drunk driver lost control and veered into his Model 3. The drunk driver claimed that she was cut off by a man with a trailer, but the video shows otherwise. The police officers told Matthew they couldn't determine whose fault it was until after they had seen the Tesla cam video. This video was sent in from a Model X owner in Texas who was involved in an accident. The Tesla driver suffered minor head injuries and the truck driver sustained severe leg injuries. 
The Tesla cam footage was used in the police and insurance reports. The truck driver was found at fault and had to pay for the damage. Wes Johnston is a frequent submitter to this channel and has been sending us videos since the beginning. A couple of months ago, he reached out and asked us to spread the word of this woman who stabbed his mother Sherry's brand new Model Y with a knife. Two days after the video was posted, the woman was found. And while Wes and his family waited for a court date, the police asked us to pull the video from YouTube since, according to them, it could have hindered the investigation. Now they're back from court, the case is settled, and we have even more information on what happened and why. But first, let's take it from the beginning. This actually all started the day before the act of vandalism, which happened in Sumter, South Carolina. Sherry's Model Y was brand new. They hadn't even put permanent license plates on it yet. This woman got upset because Sherry had parked in her spot. However, as the judge told her in court, there are no reserved parking spots in a public parking lot. In the video, we can see that she tried to park as close to the Tesla as she could, which was her first act of aggression. The next day, Sherry drove her Model Y to work at 7 a.m. Watch what happened about 30 minutes later. If we slow the footage down, we can see that this woman had the knife ready in her hand above her purse. She then went ahead and dragged the knife along the side of the Tesla's door. Sherry parked far away from all other cars to prevent door dings, and this vicious individual went out of her way to damage the car. Wes and Sherry noticed while reviewing the sentry mode footage that the offender arrived 30 minutes after the car was parked and sat in her car in the parking lot for about five minutes before the attack. So it definitely seems like she spent some time planning it out. Another angle shows that she then entered the back door of a nearby business to drop off some items. Then she returned to her car and drove away. Wes never imagined they would get such useful footage from all four of the sentry mode cameras. Sherry contacted the police and provided the footage which clearly showed the criminal's license plate number. The police arrested the vandal at her place of employment a few days later. She admitted to knifing the Tesla after being told about the video evidence. The woman chose to avoid getting a criminal record by settling out of court and agreeing to pay for the damages. She showed no remorse and was still angry about the Tesla taking her parking spot. If the case hadn't been settled out of court, she would have had to pay a $2,000 fine and Sherry would have had to sue her in a separate civil action to receive compensation. West suggests as a tip to other Tesla owners who might find themselves in a similar situation, don't format the drive, and be sure to save the videos from all four cameras before and after the event. In this case, the other camera angles helped track down where the woman worked, leading to her arrest. This video was sent in from Erland, who was driving his Model 3 home from a Christmas celebration on Christmas Eve last year. Suddenly, he met this guy standing on the corner. Erland says it was a close call and maybe even a Christmas miracle. David was driving his Tesla Model X in Charlotte, North Carolina when he was unexpectedly involved in a major car accident. Keep an eye on the right side of the screen as David was approaching this interstate overpass. The Jeep coming from the off-ramp lost control, flipped, and hit David's Tesla, pushing him into the oncoming lane. On the right repeater camera, we can see this Toyota in the lane next to David locked up its tires and missed the overturned Jeep by mere inches.
David ran out of his car to check on the driver of the Jeep. Thankfully, everyone involved was okay, apart from being noticeably shocked by the accident. The repairs for David's Model X will cost $30,000 and will take two to three months to complete. The other driver's insurance wasn't enough to cover that, so David had to utilize his underinsured motorist coverage to make up the difference. The police, medics, and fire department all responded to the scene. This is what's left of Nancy's Model 3 after he was involved in the accident we're about to watch. Get back up, please. All the Tesla's passengers walked away from the accident and the police said they were surprised that the cabin was basically untouched. Yancey was merging to the left lane when his friend in the passenger seat yelled, watch out. He said there wasn't much he could do as they were going about 65 miles per hour. All he could do was slam on the brakes and hold onto the wheel firmly. He closed his eyes and braced for impact. Let's take a closer look at what caused the accident in the first place. The Dodge Charger seemed to have been speeding onto the highway and hit this small concrete separator on his left. In response, he swerved towards the right, hitting the rail and losing control, hurtling towards traffic. The Dodge Charger driver had to be taken to the hospital. Yancey had to go through his own insurance since the other driver wasn't covered at the time of the accident. The Tesla was a total loss and the insurance company told him that there was no way the car was going to be repaired. Yancey added that he plans on buying a new Tesla eventually since it saved his life and those of his friends that night. Kurt was driving with his family in their Model X in Houston, Texas when this happened. According to the truck driver, who was around 17 years old, he didn't see Kurt coming. Kurt says he did his best to avoid the truck, but it still hit his side and they did a 360 before coming to a complete stop. He says he couldn't get the footage from the built-in Tesla cam because he has the MCU-1 computer, which sometimes fails to record anything. Luckily, he had another dash cam. Kurt has sent all the evidence to the insurance companies, and the body shop's initial estimate cost was $12,000. Martin had parked his Model 3 Performance on the streets of Belgium. When he got back to his car, he noticed he had a rather unusual Sentry Mode event. Martin says he's not sure what this lady was trying to do, but it sure looks like she knows about the sentry mode feature and that the Tesla is recording. This is quite a unique way to trigger a sentry mode event though. Maybe she's a subscriber of our channel. This Model X owner was driving in Austin, Texas when he witnessed this dog running across I-35 where the speed limit is 70 miles per hour. You can see the dog's owner chasing after him, but unlike his dog, he stops to check for vehicles before crossing. J.E. was driving his Model S in Hesperia, California. After making a left turn southbound on a two-lane road, this white SUV merged into the opposing lane of traffic rather than getting behind him. J.E. wasn't sure if he didn't realize it was the opposite lane or if he merged here with the intention of overtaking him. As they proceeded down the road and toward a blind corner, a pickup truck was heading toward them northbound. The white SUV noticed the pickup truck ahead of him and rather than slowing down and merging into the southbound lane behind J.E., he sped up. 
He merged in front of JE, nearly hitting both the pickup truck and the Tesla. Tom had parked his Model Y at an apartment building with secured parking in North Hollywood, California. Watch what happened when this Range Rover backed up next to the Tesla. Unfortunately, Tom had left his phone in the car, so the car doors were unlocked. Tom believes that the Range Rover slipped through the security gate right after somebody else left. They might have noticed that the Tesla's mirrors were out, a sign that it was left unlocked. They also opened the trunk and went through Tom's belongings. In addition to stealing some things from there, they also stole his new iPhone Max 11. We can see they slammed both the Range Rover's doors into Tom's car and the Tesla's doors into the Range Rover. It's entirely possible that the Range Rover was also stolen. Finally, we see them get back into their car and leave the scene. Taylor was driving his four-week-old Model Y on I-35 in Hickory Creek, Texas, when he passed this black Nissan Frontier pickup truck. Taylor changed lanes to allow lead-footed drivers to pass him in the fast lane. That was when the Nissan swerved into him. Until he reviewed the video, Taylor says he couldn't even explain how the crash happened. Autopilot's traffic-aware cruise control was engaged, but it had no time to evade or alert Taylor to the Nissan in his blind spot. He says he's still in shock. He didn't see it coming. The Nissan driver lied to everyone and said he was just driving along when Taylor spun him out and put him into the wall. Taylor didn't talk to the Nissan driver personally. He was too upset and sat. After the police arrived, he gave them the Tesla cam footage. The officer showed the Nissan driver and he instantly knew he was busted. The other driver was found 100% at fault for his aggressive lane changes and unsafe speed. Taylor's Model Y is being fixed now and the repair estimate is about 4,000 US dollars. This video submitter was driving his Model 3 in Oregon. He was headed to pick up his wife in Salem, about five minutes north of Eugene. All of the sudden, this Hyundai sporting California plates pulled up next to him. The Hyundai driver proceeded to pull a gun and point it at the Tesla driver. The Tesla driver ignored the Hyundai driver in an attempt to de-escalate the situation.
The Hyundai driver started to drive around him, but then merged behind him. He says he never called the police or press charges, but he wanted to share the footage so others are aware of this person. When he noticed that the Hyundai was from California, he thought to himself, ah, that makes sense. Ross from Phoenix, Arizona sent us this video. He let his friend borrow his Model 3 while he was out of town. Watch what happened when his friend was stopped for a red light. Keep your eyes on this pickup truck. As the light turned green, Ross's friend hit the accelerator, but he didn't notice the truck running the red light. He hit the truck behind the passenger door and the truck ramped off the front of the Tesla and rolled onto its roof. Ross says he's surprised how quickly they were able to get out of the truck to yell at his friend. The police who showed up to the scene were impressed that they could see the playback of the accident right in the Tesla. They made sure to write the truck driver a few tickets before leaving. The truck driver filed an insurance claim first, claiming it was Ross's friend's fault, but the Tesla cam proved that the truck driver ran the red light. His insurance fully covered the $12,000 US dollar repair bill. It took a month to repair the Tesla. The damage to the front end was extensive. Check out these pictures of the damage. Ross had just gotten his Model 3 back when he sent us the video. He says it was a long month of waiting, but he's happy to be back behind the wheel. It all started when this P-plater, which is the Aussie term for a newly licensed driver since they have a P sticker attached to their vehicle, drove up next to the Tesla and threw something at it. If we slow down the footage, we can see clearly that the object they threw was an ice cream cone, but the submitter didn't know that at the time and thought they might have damaged the car. The submitter took off after the P-plater and the chase was on. They ended up driving dangerously through a shopping center. The submitter says he stopped following them once they ran a red light and he realized his car already had everything recorded on the Tesla cam. When he got out to check the damage, he found out that it was just an ice cream cone they threw. So fortunately, there was no damage to the car. He contacted the police to report the incident and included the Tesla cam footage as evidence, but the police ended up doing nothing about it. Pete had stopped at a red light in southeast Austin, Texas in his four-month-old Model 3. Just as the light turned green, he heard the sound of screeching tires before feeling an impact. Apparently, the young woman driving behind him didn't notice the traffic had stopped. She locked up her tires trying to stop and swerved between the two lanes. She managed to hit Pete's Model 3 as well as the car sitting next to him. After clearing the intersection, Pete pulled in front of the wrecked car to make sure everyone was okay. Although the damage to his Tesla only seemed cosmetic, the other driver's insurance totaled the car anyway and paid for a brand new one. In the end, Pete only paid 300 US dollars from his own pocket. We're glad everyone got out of this unharmed. It could have been much worse. While taking an impromptu trip to Dallas, Scott had parked his Model Y in a hotel parking lot overnight. That's when his laser had a negative effect in this situation. A man approached the parking lot like he was on a mission. He started pulling door handles to check if there were any unlocked cars. That's when the Tesla laser went off, showing the man that he was being recorded. Apparently this made him furious.
decided to take out his rage on the poor, unsuspecting side view mirror. Police were notified, and about an hour later, the police reported they had caught the guy, as he'd broken into other vehicles and threatened hotel staff. An insurance claim has been filed, and Scott is still waiting to hear back about it. Cue up the dramatic music, please. Jonathan lives in Burleson, Texas. There's an intersection near his house where these birds gather twice a year for about a month when the seasons change. They refer to it as the Birdmageddon. No one knows why they gather at this same intersection every year, but Jonathan has to pass this intersection every day to get home. We all know what it's like to get bird poop on our cars. It's something you wouldn't wish on your worst enemy. Jonathan says he has to clean about five bird turds off his car every time he goes home. Jonathan, you the real MVP. Chris was driving his Model 3 in Atlanta, Georgia when he slowed down as a traffic light turned yellow. A BMW didn't even come close to making the light and instead it hit the right rear section of a car making a right turn before ricocheting into a Mustang. Chris stayed at the scene and gave his contact info and the Tesla cam video to law enforcement, who instantly determined that the BMW driver was at fault. Let's stay in the not so wintry California for a while with this December video from Kevin, who had parked his Model S in Long Beach when Sentry Mode captured this event. Kevin says that all he could do was laugh when he watched this on the Sentry Mode player. He actually remembers passing these guys walking while he was returning to his car. It looks like he's taking out his wallet and putting cash on the car's frunk, and he seems to have plenty of money to spare. We're not sure what else he might be pulling out though. One thing's for sure, these guys will definitely be asking Santa for a Tesla. Trent was driving his Model Y on the highway outside of Apex, North Carolina one sunny day when he witnessed something he never thought he'd see. This looks like it's straight out of a video game. Up ahead we see a pickup truck swerving off the road, and it almost looks like he's aiming for that big jump at highway speed. The pickup gets some major hang time before putting its suspension to the test when it comes crashing down. Everything turned out okay, but Trent is pretty sure the pickup driver was on his phone when this happened. Aaron was using autopilot in his Model 3 down a tollway in Colorado when he approached this semi-truck going about 60 miles per hour in the right lane. Suddenly, the semi merged into Aaron's lane When it hit Aaron's Tesla, the glass from the passenger side exploded throughout the cabin and all over Aaron. The impact sent Aaron off the road where he swerved to avoid the cable barrier. After yelling into his phone for a while, the truck driver came over to ask Aaron if his airbags had deployed. Aaron learned later that this was a question from the truck driver's insurance company, who was trying to determine whose fault the accident was. In the meantime, Aaron was stuck in the Tesla with the doors jammed shut. After first responders pried the doors open, Aaron was taken away in an ambulance. Aaron says that a year after the accident, he's doing a lot better, but not without a lot of challenges. Unfortunately, the Tesla was a total loss.
We can see here the right camera hanging loose from the car, and it reminds us of something out of a Terminator movie. Terminate. James was driving in Dallas, Texas, just a few weeks after picking up his brand new Tesla Model 3. He'd been driving eastbound in the middle lane when this F-350 decided to make a left turn right in front of him. This resulted in James T-boning the pickup. The driver of the F-350 told James that she hadn't seen him. She was driving unlicensed and uninsured, two things that law enforcement wrote her tickets for once they showed up to the scene. The Tesla was totaled, but thankfully James had uninsured motorist coverage, so his own insurance covered the accident. Mike had parked his Model 3 outside his office in Salem, Oregon when a car pulled up next to his. A thief, notably with his pants pulled all the way up, exited the vehicle. Using a rock, the thief smashed out a rear window. With the alarm going off, he only had a second to grab a couple of small boxes before quickly driving away. Fortunately, the boxes were empty, but this is a good reminder to not leave things in your car that a thief might find attractive. Mike filed a police report and included the camera footage which had captured the thief's license plate and face. They were able to find and arrest him within hours of the incident. The police officer Mike spoke to had never seen Tesla's sentry mode footage before, and he confirmed that they never would have found and arrested the offender without it. Total repair costs for the window and door actuator came to about 600 US dollars. Ed was driving his two-week-old Model Y in San Francisco, California, doing about 70 miles per hour on the freeway when this Honda Civic came up behind him. The initial impact caused Ed to spin to the left. Then the vehicles locked together, causing a spin to the right. The Honda then bounced off the center divider and hit Ed again, as we can see in the right camera, causing him to spin back the other way. The front camera shows Ed's perspective, as well as the reason why, if you're going to be in an accident, you want to be driving a Tesla. Notice the minimal body lean and quick recovery, which can be attributed to the low center of gravity, 50-50 weight distribution, and superior stability control response time of an electric drivetrain. Ed says it was the best spin-out scenario he could imagine and that he barely felt the impact, since the Model Y weighs 4,400 pounds, about twice as much as the Civic. Ed got out and asked the Civic driver if he was okay, and he responded by asking Ed if he had changed lanes and hit him, as if the accident had been his fault. It turns out that the driver of the Honda was under the influence, and he ended up being taken away in handcuffs. Hashtag Honda Bump. Ed's insurance company is trying to determine if his Model Y is totaled. Marisol was driving her 2020 Model Y performance one early morning in Visalia, California, when all of a sudden an oncoming vehicle drifted into her lane. All her airbags deployed before she even knew what happened. As she attempted to pull to the right, airbags surrounded her like a Baymax hug. Looking out the window, she saw a tire rolling and thought her own Tesla's tire had ripped off. It actually turned out to be the tire of the vehicle that hit her, a Chevy Malibu. The left camera was hit straight on and stopped working on impact. The driver of the other vehicle took off on foot into some nearby orchards before the police arrived. Police are still investigating and insurance has yet to determine if they'll be repairing her vehicle or writing it off as a total loss. Marisol purchased her Model Y as an early birthday gift for herself. She says it certainly paid off as it may have saved her life. The Tesla cam footage also proved to her insurance and the police who was at fault. Marisol named her car Zeus and took this picture in case this was the last time they saw each other.
This submitter was driving his Model 3 late one night on a freeway in Los Angeles, California. This was the day after he saw our video titled The Worst Drivers in the World, in which we revealed that Dodge drivers were voted the second worst drivers in the world in a poll we ran. He couldn't have imagined what would happen next. The submitter was overtaking slower moving cars that were causing traffic. As he puts it, there was no reason for all this traffic so late at night. One of the cars he overtook was a Dodge Challenger, whose driver didn't like this and decided to speed up and try to catch up with them. As their speeds got higher, the Dodge driver tried to overtake the Tesla on the right when this happened. The Dodge rear-ended another car at very high speed and they both ended up smashing into the concrete barrier. On the rear view camera, we can see that the Tesla and the Dodge both passed this SUV on either side, and the collision happened when they both tried to merge in front of it. The submitter says he noticed that the Dodge disappeared from his mirror, but it was only once he got home that he learned the true magnitude of the crash. We haven't found any news related to the accident, but we hope everyone's okay. We can't tell their exact speed from the footage, but we're sure this accident could have been avoided at a lower speed. Please be careful out there. This video was sent in from a Model X owner in Japan. Can you think of a Japanese car brand infamous for making cars that bump into other cars? That's right, here we can see a Honda approaching. Get ready for some bumping action. The Honda merged without indicating over a solid line and crashed into the Tesla, which swerved onto the curb to avoid a worse accident. Luckily, only the Honda's mirror hit the Tesla, and by the looks of it, the woman driving the Honda is waving her hands as if to say, hashtag Honda bump. Tristan was driving his Model X on the Garden State Parkway in Cranford, New Jersey, when he noticed cars up ahead swerving to avoid a wrecked car in the leftmost lane. Several of the cars lost control and crashed as they were trying to avoid the accident. As Tristan came closer, he saw that they were actually trying to avoid a woman who had been ejected from the wreck and was lying in the middle of the road. He quickly moved his Tesla to block traffic and protect the woman from getting run over. Tristan activated his hazard lights and started waving at approaching cars to slow down. As soon as he was sure that all cars behind him had stopped, he got out to check on the woman. It turned out she was a nurse. She was conscious and able to speak, but she had both a broken arm and a broken leg. Tristan calmed her by holding her hand while he called 911. In the meantime, the drivers who had lost control while avoiding the wreck started reversing back to the crash site. The driver of the black Lexus was a Union County Sheriff's officer, and he also called in the accident before directing traffic around the crash site. Seconds later, a doctor with a first aid kit stopped and checked on the woman. Tristan kept holding her hand and promised that he wouldn't leave her side. Next, a pickup truck stopped and an off-duty emergency medical technician jumped out and headed to the crash site. He was wearing shorts in the middle of a cold January. This just confirms that medical workers are in fact superheroes. Moments later, first responders arrived. The doctor and the sheriff's officer cleared a path for them to come through.
emergency responders just kept on coming. New Jersey State Police, Cranford Police, Ambulance, Fire Department, even tow trucks. It's crazy to see all these people running around while Tristan stays with the woman the entire time. Tristan found it very lucky for the woman that an EMT, a doctor, and a sheriff's officer all happened to stop within one minute of the accident. Based on her vehicle having a flat tire, he speculates it might have blown out and caused the accident, but he's not sure. The police still haven't determined the cause. The EMT in the black shorts knew the other EMTs who were arriving and even directed the firefighters on what to do. Tristan says he doesn't consider himself a hero. He just did what he hoped someone would do for him if he was ever in a similar situation. We disagree, Tristan. You did a heroic job in stopping traffic and staying with the woman all the way until they put her in the ambulance. Well done. Wham bam, you're a hero, man. Tristan is actually the founder of the New Jersey Tesla Car Club, which has over 1,500 members on Facebook. Another member of the group was stuck in miles of traffic in his Model 3 due to the accident and shared these pictures. This was a very scary accident and it warms our heart that people like Tristan and the others who stopped actually exist. We wish the woman a speedy recovery. Oh Lord, won't you buy me a cyber truck? My friends I'll drive diesel. I must make amends